Good Monday afternoon, Montana. I'm Martin Kidston, and this is the 406, brought to you by Missoula Nissan Hyundai. Trending today on Twitter, Loretta Lynch, as the nation learns more about President Barack Obama's nominee for U.S. Attorney General. Winter has arrived with snow on the ground across the state and extremely cold temperatures. Drivers faced icy and snowy roads on their morning commutes, and forecasters say temperatures will drop even lower tonight. Combined with wind chills, Montana will see nighttime temperatures of zero or below, courtesy of the season's first Arctic blast. Prosecutors are asking the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals for more time to respond to a Calisville bride's appeal of her second-degree murder conviction. Jordan Graham is in federal prison for the July 2013 murder of her husband of eight days. Cody Johnson was pushed to his death off a cliff in Glacier National Park. Graham pleaded guilty to second-degree murder last December, just before closing arguments in her trial in Missoula U.S. District Court. Now she wants the murder conviction reversed and a new trial on manslaughter charges. The man accused of causing an explosion at a University of Montana apartment in October pleaded not guilty to multiple criminal charges Monday morning. Patrick Wayne Austin denied five felony charges relating to the October 12th explosion, including criminal production of dangerous drugs, two counts of criminal possession of dangerous drugs with intent to distribute, criminal endangerment, and criminal child endangerment. A 62-year-old fisherman was killed near Connor Sunday afternoon by a tree felled by high winds. High winds struck the southern Bitteru Valley in the early afternoon of Sunday. Members of the Sula Fire Department were working to clear the trees off Highway 93 when they heard dogs barking down by the river. When they investigated, they found the fisherman pinned under the tree uh, that had been knocked over in the wind. A 76-year-old uh, haul man died in a weekend all-terrain vehicle crash near Drummond. The man was traveling north on Bear Gulch Road Sunday when his ATB drifted off the right side of the road and down an embankment into a ditch. He was not wearing a helmet, was thrown from the ATV, and suffered a head injury. Thanks for checking out the 406. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and let us know what you think about our broadcast in a comment below. Have a great evening. We've made it easy to shop for your next vehicle. MissoulaNissan.com You're already shopping from your smartphone, office, or living room. Make your own deal your way right now at MissoulaNissan.com